Hey guys, Jimbo Alvin here, and two and a half for you is the top five Yu-Gi-Oh decks for March 2015. So to start off, guys, what I have is a Fire King deck. Fire King decks have been doing just really amazing. Uh, I, I believe they got a few new cards over the past while, and just because of those cards and stuff like that, I believe it was a new field spell card. And just because that it, it pretty much helped Fire King cards so much, it made so many different types of Fire King cards just really uh, good, which is really uh, awesome. Uh, then Yoshin, uh, they're, they're doing really well, guys. They have, they just do really well because they're pretty much like one of those cards when you can get a ton of normal summons, then you can also like special summon from your graveyard. They return back to your hand, but they just, they're just overall really good because then you can start adding Yoshin decks to your hand and stuff like that. Uh, adding Yoshin cards limit to your hand, and then uh, using effects, you can also attack your opponent directly with certain cards, which is really cool. Uh, and then it, it's just it's just really awesome what uh, Yoshin decks do. Then what we have is pretty much Zang Zing. Uh, these decks are pretty cool. Pretty much when a monster is destroyed, uh, then you can pretty much special summon another Zing Zing monster uh in defense position which is really cool so uh you can just constantly get uh zing zing monsters on the field all the time without really uh like if they get destroyed and you get another one on the field uh which is really good uh and you don't have to worry about uh like your opponent getting like all these direct attacks and stuff like that on you then uh sylvan uh they're they're pretty good decks i think i said sylvan right uh but they're a pretty good deck guys uh, a lot of people are doing like just combinating, co uh, combining like Sylvan, uh, Sylvans or whatever with different types of decks and just use them. And overall, Sylvans are actually pretty cool. They have a lot of like drawing effects and stuff like that. And also like uh, wood sending to the graveyard. They have a lot of like once per turn like drawing cards and then putting them in order that you want. So then you can like, you can like get the cards that you want and put them wherever you feel like it and stuff like that then uh six samurai decks have been doing really well too they pretty much got a card i don't know the exact name of the card but it pretty much used to be banned now it's limited to two which is really good or something like that or it used to be one i really don't know but six samurai de decks pretty much are doing so well just because of that and stuff like that just all the new cards shadow Doll decks those are very annoying decks uh really really cheap decks overall but they've been doing really well because um Pretty much just all the effects, like setting the graveyard and stuff like that. They're just OP in general. Uh, then what we have is Stella Knight uh, decks. Those have been doing really well too, like the previous decks. Um, they're just really good because, like, you can when it's like summoned from graveyard anywhere. Uh, then what you can do is you can use this effect, and pretty much every Stella Knight has that effect, which is really cool. So. Uh, you can, like, do so many combos and stuff like that, which is really amazing, and get all your, like, Xyz on the field, uh, which is really cool. Then, uh, pretty much Quillport, uh, those have been doing really well, even though Scout is now limited to two and stuff like that, they still are doing amazing, because you have all these, like, trap cards and stuff like that that help you out a lot, that get your Scout back, or you just have cards that can take your scout back to your hand. You can activate scout again. But they're all overall really cool because they, they can just do a lot of cool... Uh, they just do a lot of cool stuff, which is amazing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, next one is Noble Knights. Uh, these cards are pretty cool because they have the amount of... Pretty much equip cards you get on Noble Knights is amazing. Like, how many equip cards you pretty much get from their effects and stuff that is also amazing it's just pretty much all about the quip cards and stuff like that and grabbing all those and that just makes noble knights op uh... and they're just really good which is all awesome uh... then what we have is gravekeepers those are really good uh, especially with necro valley they're just amazing uh... and the amount of things that you could possibly do with gravekeepers is like you got spy and stuff like that um, and you can just do so many unbelievable combos because, like I said before, Spy. Uh, also, you can use, like, Recruiter. Uh, recruiter and, like, tra Descended or something like that. You can, like, use all their effects and stuff like that. Tribute cards. Get this guy to even more attack, which is amazing. And just do so many cool combos, guys. But that pretty much is going to be it for this video, guys. All the links to pretty much... Uh, pretty much a deck profile for each of these will be in the description so be sure to click them i'll just put a list in there uh starting probably i don't even know where i'm gonna start i'm just gonna random make a list and then if you guys want to see a deck profile for these be sure to click the link in the description 
uh, to pretty much whatever one you want. Uh, and then, yeah, go check it out and play with the decks. They're just amazing. Uh, and overall, they're just they're just awesome. They do they just do so many cool things, which is really cool. So that's pretty much gonna be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're only doing this video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to apply to the Jimbo Evan Cop Network for a 70% revenue share, guys. But that's me, guys. This has been Jimbo Evan, and I'll see you guys later.